Nobel Prize in Literature for 2024 is awarded to South Korean author Han Kang. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yoon Jung-min. We start with the South Korean female author making history. For more on Han Gang's Nobel Prize win, I'm joined by our culture correspondent, Song Yoo-jin, in the studio. Welcome, Yoo-jin. Great to be here with great news, Jung-min. Great news. What a huge moment for Korean literature. It definitely is, Jung-min. So I literally got goosebumps when I heard that Han Gang was named as this year's winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature because, as you mentioned, it's such a historic and monumental win uh, for the Korean literature, Asian literature, and and in the world of literature all in all. So to celebrate Han Gang's win, I looked into what has made her work resonate so deeply with international readers. Let's first take a look. The Nobel Prize in Literature for 2024 is awarded to South Korean author Han Kang. History made, again. That's how author Han Gang's remarkable three-decade-long career can be described. Han has become the first South Korean writer to receive the prestigious award and only the second Nobel laureate in Korean history, following the late former President Kim Dae-jung's Nobel Peace Prize in 2000. The 53-year-old is also the first Asian woman and the 18th female author to receive the honor. Yes, I'm honored and I really appreciate uh, your support, the support of the prize. and. And, yeah, I just appreciate it. While this may be her first Nobel win, Han is already a celebrated figure in Korean literature. She rose to international fame when she became the first and only Korean to date to win the Man Booker International Prize for her novel, The Vegetarian. Alongside the Nobel Prize and Francis Prix Goncourt is considered one of the world's three major literary awards. Han Gang's Booker win opened a door for more Korean literary works that incorporate unique perspectives and timely themes to be published and translated globally. This has led to greater interest in Korean literature. So, what sets Han's work apart? She has a unique awareness of the connections between body and soul, the living and the dead, and in her poetic and experimental style has become an innovator in contemporary prose. But her works couldn't have touched readers worldwide without skilled translation. She has consistently explored the depths of society and history, seeking true love and inner beauty in her works. Her unique writing style, praised by the Nobel Committee, has been brilliantly captured by her translators, resonating deeply with international readers and fostering empathy. With this historic win, Han Gang is paving the way for Korean literature to shine even brighter on the global stage. Eugene, I just wonder what amazing achievements Korean literature will reach next. And I'm sure many of our viewers are going to be curious about Han's right. works after her big win. Which of the, her books would you recommend? Well, Jongmin, do you have a personal favorite? Well, I have to say, I'd go, I have to go with her most well-known book, The Vegetarian. I knew it. I can read you like a book. <laughs> but going back to the question, the Nobel Prize actually asked the same question to Han Gang almost immediately after she won the Nobel Prize for Literature. And the author recommended I Do Not Bid Farewell, which last year won the Prix Medici for Foreign Literature. And it's said to be published in English with the title We Do Not Part Next January, so stay tuned for that. And Han says that the book will be a great 
starting point for those who are new to her work. And she also suggested Human Acts and the White Book, which she describes as a very personal book for her because it's quite autobiographical. And of course, there's The Vegetarian You Mentioned, which won her the Booker Prize in 2016. And uh, so many great choices to check out this fall. And Eugene, I absolutely agree that skill translation is essential for Korean literature to gain more global attention. Mm -hmm. What's being done to support this? Right, so the Literature Translation Institute of Korea has been running its uh, Translation Academy to, from 2008 to really nurture future literary translators. And actually, a lot of those who translated Han Gang's books are from this program. Other notable graduates include Sora Kim Russell and Youngjae Josephine Pei, the translators of novelist Hwang Seo Kyung's Mater 210, and Anton Her, who translated Jung Bora's Cursed Bunny, both Booker Prize nominated works. And the Institute is now working to kind of transform this academy into a more specialized educational institution by turning into a graduate school, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Our culture correspondent, Song Yujin, many thanks. Thank you.